I'm asking for the last time. Whose is this? I see that someone's little ones are very inflated. In <gasps> fast, is this yours? Yes, sir. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Congratulations. Now you're not an officer. You're a woman that doesn't belong at the house. My boss cancelled my pass and sent me on vacation. Coming back home, I realized that I was redundant there as hmm? well. You were supposed to be here in just a week. I understood that he was not alone and warned that I would break down the door. Just keep it drama-free. I didn't know Lloyd was married. Hmm? What about the ring on his finger? God, Susie, why talk about this now? Don't you want to ask why I cheated? It turned out that my husband thought I was too masculine. Military uniform, knocking down doors, what's next? Gonna grow some hair thanks to the testosterone? You're not a woman, you understand? <laughs> it's ironic that at work, they saw me as a less than or a not quite man. But I was not going to go along with this. I asked my mechanic to help me choose a uniform for service. Edward definitely knew some man's secrets. Even a greasy jumpsuit looked like armor on him. There will also be high-soled boots and, of course, a cap. What do you think? I do not recommend that. In a month or two, you will be uncomfortable in this. My husband left me. Work is all that I have left. And the commander said that he doesn't need any women. Let me treat you to something. Edward gave me a delicious pie. Which, as it turned out, he cooked himself. We live in the world where there are no male and female roles. I thought you knew that better than anyone else. At the academy, I aspired to be ahead above all the men on the course, so that no one had doubts about my knowledge and skills. Maybe it's time to believe in yourself. Hey, housewife, why are you in the office? <laughs> Please call me officer, sir. <gasps> hmm? I know the law, and I assure you, there is no reason to suspend me. The commander's reaction surprised me. At last you've shown your still balls, officer. I'm sorry, sir. I don't have balls. It's called character. Except that it can be just as strong as a man's. I need to know if you have any medical contraindications. Of course, I first consulted with a doctor and got permission to fly. All right, take your helmet then. I saw how inspiring my example became for other girls. And this only happened because of Edward. He taught me to never engage with a confrontation called the Battle of Sexes. Look, Mommy took off. <laughs> never listen to those who try to clip your wings. 
Their biases are not your problem.